Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome to, um, oh, that's frustrating. It's on the tip of my tongue. It was, uh, I just can't quite seem to rem remember. <laughs> you ever do a thing where it's so stupid that it's very amusing to you and you're absolutely certain that it won't be funny to anybody else, but you just can't, you just can't help yourself. I'm SB and welcome to the Forgotten City. That's what we're doing today. Uh, this is a game that came out last year very slowly, very slowly. We are picking through the list of things I was supposed to play. Um, this is a game that I was originally not going to play. It got a lot of, uh, I feel like, a lot of uh, positive reviews from people who who I listen to who like games. But, like, uh, not to make it, not to oversimplify here, but, like, it's set in ancient Rome. And I was just like, no, nah, I'm good. Something about historical settings, I don't know if it's like... I don't know exactly what it is, but there's something about games that are in a historical setting that just like makes me automatically way less interested. Um, and so I kept having people tell me, you should play this. This thing is cool, it does some stuff, and I kept saying, eh, I don't know, it, it, it does not look very interesting to me. Then somebody spoiled part of the story for me. Somebody was like, okay. I can, I can see you're only going to play this if you know a little bit of what's going on. Here's what's up. And, okay, they're right. That does sound interesting. So I'm going to be vague about it until we see it, uh, until we all see it together here. But yeah, this is a game that takes place in an ancient Roman city. It is full, in fact, of intrigue and plot twists. Uh, so, yeah, that's... It has some interesting things going on. Let's just get in here and uh, and see exactly what it has to bear. The game was developed by a core team of three people over four years. As a as a person who has worked on video games before, it is phenomenal. Like, it blows my mind when people manage to actually produce a full functional video game with a team that size, basically over any period of time. alive when i dragged you out of the river i thought you were never gonna wake up i checked your pockets for id a phone maybe i hope you don't mind but all i found was some loose change so wanna tell me who you are is she gonna be cool if i tab out to turn the volume on this thing up a little bit i'm just gonna i'm just gonna adjust the mix live here because after that excellent intro we all know what a professional i am so there we go okay Select your body type. Uh, oh. I guess this is closer. Uh, very pale. The palest as ever. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? What's the last thing you remember? I think you'll be surprised to know uh, that it's nothing. <laughs> I have no idea how I got here. Okay, so we are we are picking an actual background here. Archaeologist, soldier, fugitive, or amnesiac. I mean, 50% harder to take down. I didn't realize this game had combat in it, to be perfectly honest with you. 25% faster when sprinting. I do like that. You have, uh, you have gun. Get, get gun. I mean, if we're being honest, of these things, the only one that I that makes any sense for me is archaeologist, right? I was searching for some ancient ruins and then I fell in a damn river. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. Excuse he me? went in there a few hours ago and he hasn't come out. I've been freaking out, wondering if he's trapped, or injured, or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him, so I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need... what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find him. If you can do that, 
I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? So this is this is a truly bizarre setup. And also this late look at the look at the way she is boring into our soul with her eyes after basically telling us she has the power to save our life, but she's not interested in doing it unless we can do a little something for her first. I don't know if I've ever trusted a video game character less than I trust this one right now. Oh, of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just. What do you want to know? I hate to say it this way. The, the facial animation's not like. There's something about it that's, <laughs> that's very uncanny. It's a little. It's a little creepy. And to some extent, I am wondering if they put that that hey, there were only three of us thing up at the beginning of the game, specifically so you would be like take take it easy on the, <laughs> on the animation quality on this lady. We were busy. It's a, it's a big game. We were trying very hard. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to be mean. I'm sorry. All right, what's your? St it's it's wild that I can't just say like, what's your name? I'm. I guess that's folded into. What's your story? Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? That's such a suspicious thing to say. That's such a wildly suspicious thing to say. She's a psychopomp or something, right? Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Uh, why don't you want to tell me? All right, fine. Sorry if I sound mm -hmm, cagey. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. just that I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> when did this game, this game came out? I guess, I guess the Karen thing has been happening for a while. Uh, yeah, let's see, let's see if we can dig in on, well, I mean, she's probably just gonna brush it off, though, right? There's probably not even any point in asking. I'll just say thank you. Uh, you're welcome. Always happy to help. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? I'm like, I, I'm a little back and forth on, I, I kind of think it's great, actually. I think it's, I think it's a really interesting writing that they managed to make that clear so quickly. Um... I hope that they intended for you to be able to figure it out. Uh, so who, who's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. You really don't remember? We're in Italy. This river is the Tiber. I mean, she said the ruins were Roman, so that, you know, that makes some sense. What can you tell me about these ruins? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm, uh, I am now, I am at this point 100% certain that we are supposed to be, we are feeling exactly the way they want us to be feeling. This writing is good and fun. Have you tried calling for help? What am I, an idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. I know exactly where all of the souls are. <laughs> all right, that's all my questions. I guess I'll go do the weird thing you asked. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I mean, this is true, but I'm not gonna tell her. All right, I'm in. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Okay. Is there anything special about our flashlight? It looks like a pretty standard maglite type thing. Uh, you know, good for, good for, oh wow, okay. A little, little hitchy, and also, can I, that mouse sensitivity could be... Uh, perhaps a little, a little way higher. It, it's driving me a little crazy. It won't let me do 150, but that's fine. Okay, apply. Are we good? Uh, okay, this'll do at least. 
Anything else around? The ruins are just beyond those columns. Yeah, no, I know. Please, hurry. Oh, something tells me we've got all day. An old wooden rowboat. A very old wooden rowboat. Look at the size of this dragonfly. The right. ruins are just beyond the Yeah, no, I know. Please, hurry. Okay. Flashlight on, flashlight off. The fact that that works that way makes me think that this is probably a situation where we're going to quickly need to hide our lights to, to evade pursuers or something. Which I'm not looking forward to. I didn't realize that that was the kind of thing we're doing. A rusted metal torch, which must have been lit by Al. I'm going the right way. I can just tell. These flames are classic Al. All right, I apologize. It drives me a tiny bit crazy when uh, the game streamers won't like get out of the menu, but I definitely turned that up too much. It's going to be a problem. Uh, but if they're not exactly the same, slowly, slowly I will go insane. It's okay. You know what? It's fine. Sometimes a little madness helps, actually. Um, yes. Good. More good than before. I got a sprint. Oh, and also when I sprint, a wild camera movement. Character pitches her entire head forward. I have a jump. No double jump, though. Um, which I guess means we're sis. Uh, a note has been left for me. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. Uh. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. Showered in gold indeed. Could an underground city have remained a secret for all this time? Uh, okay. People... That gave away. I was not expecting the floor to give way, and I was also not expecting that to kill the VO. And also, I was kind of hoping to still be able to look at the note because I wanted to make a joke about how Al is clearly a laser printer on account of the People letters survive being... down there <laughs> against the odds. What a weird way to pick that up. There's only one way to find out. Hold on. Look. If I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Al Worth. If that one's supposed to be, like, something I recognize, I'm, I'm not getting it. Which I guess is going to make me look like a right fool after I was making all those jokes about Charon up there. Nope, nothing, of, nothing of value in the jar. So, yeah, I know a little bit about what's going on here. We're going to be seeing a lot of gold people, is my understanding. Get it? Because they've been showered in gold. And look how much good it did them. An ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. A young Roman woman in a pose of lamentation. Yep, that is that is definitely lamentation. I know that because of my archaeology degree. This one's a pose of trepidation. Uh, this is a pose of uh, running. Okay, how's... Is that an appropriate... I guess I'm, I'm sure they did a bunch of research. That's probably an appropriate helmet. A Roman gladiator mid-stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? It's 
So our character is like immediately, these are real people. Our, our character is not convinced by this uh, statue story uh, at all. We're, we're already on the same page. And I'm going to tell you right up front, my Latin is not good. My Roman, whatever. I, if they come at us with anything other than English, I am not going to be able to probably even make a guess at what it is. This is, this is the classic wait, stop, don't turn me to gold pose. Okay, really good information. Very useful. Something tells me we're going to be using that one a lot. Roman military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Whatever was on this like little dais thing. I apologize for the frame rate. I don't know why it's um why it's being like this. I'll make I'll make some efforts to see if I can't figure it out between uh, between these first couple of episodes. Cause it sure would be cool if it were smoother. Uh, I'm getting invisible walled, by the way, if that wasn't clear anytime I try to walk off the main path there, so. Boy, Al sure did start a lot of fires. Okay, so we are fully, like, very underground. We're supposed to be praying for help that never came. Well, unless she was praying that everybody in the city would get turned to gold, in which case help arrived, and perhaps, um, perhaps quite swiftly. It is quite pretty, I'll say that. Um, the golden statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al. How is that possible? Oh, I touched the fire. Okay, we lost HP. Don't stand Whoever in a fire. Is this? I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles searching for a way out the inscription was right there is no way back and here there are only two options death and that godforsaken doorway into the past I made the mistake of stepping through it I wanted to set things right and I tried I really tried whatever I did took me right back to the beginning. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now. Find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Alright, well, I'm not super into end it all now, and also, I did not think to bring a rope. Um, and I don't think Alice would be very useful to us now on account of it has been orified. So I guess to the doorway we go. I know. Just enjoying the ambiance. So That's quite a doorway. Yeah, all right. Surprise, this game is set in the Sliders universe. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get some weapons eventually. I'm probably going to end up wishing I had that gun. Step through the doorway into the past. You know what? Before we before we fully fall in here, let me just take a moment to say I really appreciate how little time this game is spending screwing around. I feel like a lot of games like this have the character refuse to understand what's going on for like a weirdly long time, but we're not, we're not, like, playing any games with this. This is what's happening. Everybody understands that this is what's happening. Let's just get to the part 
where you're actually interacting with it. And I really appreciate that. So, uh, hello, the past. How's it going? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? Uh, boy. <laughs> this is not a lie. All of this is 100% uh, correct. I mean, it's it's got to be some time magic means we're now speaking their language or something, but I guess we got to figure out exactly what the answer is. Uh, what? I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Oh, I see what you did there, changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again, who are you and what were you doing in the shrine? When we look down, we don't see our body at all, right? Like, I don't know how I'm dressed, but I bet I look real weird to them. Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? One more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? That time it was a ploy. I mean, let's see what happens. Uh, no idea what you're talking about. Oh, wait. Are you a bit... From you the know, future? Yes. Not right in the head? Well... That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Listen, the future's very stressful. We're all kind of like that. Um, what's today's date? We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? Of? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the empire are you from, exactly? Uh, oh, hey, listen. This is, this is like a weird bit of archaeologist insight because it's cool that it's telling us that it's 65 CE, but this is a super weird question to ask him, right? I'm still going to do it. Ah, so it's 65 CE. CE? No idea what you're talking about. But listen, most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost and in more ways than one. So let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws, law. There's just one, the golden rule. And the punishment for breaking it's, well, it's kind of horrific. But our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Get it? The golden rule. Um, you know what? Sure. Lead the Follow way. Me. When I first arrived, I couldn't believe there were people living down here. But, as you can see, we've got a nice little community now. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Aren't you going to introduce me to your pretty new friend, Galerius? Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking her to see the magistrate. That pompous old bore won't be magistrate for much longer. Anyone who helps vote him out today drinks at my bar for free tonight. I mean, do we really... Uh, okay. okay. I'd stay clear of it and her, if I were you. She's, uh, it's not my place to say. Down on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one usually gets a chuckle. The bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah, don't mind Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since... Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing. Just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the Magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, 
You're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, I'm watching you, farm boy. Greetings, citizen. My name's Horatius. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. I do wish that the voices were a little bit higher in the mix. I'll, I'll play with it a little bit between episodes because I'm gonna. The music is already high enough, so yeah, I'll just I'll have to fiddle with it. Uh, sorry, what's this about? I expect the magistrate wants to brief you about the golden rule. It shouldn't take too long. He's busy preparing for the election later today. So the thing I was going to say, the, th the thing that I got interrupted thinking out loud about was, it's wild to me that they have money. <laughs> She's talking about free drinks at her place, but like there's 23 people here and most of them showed up with no objects. So what did like one of them appear with a bunch of coins and then they've just been passing around those coins or... Did they, did they decide that one of the most important things they could possibly do here immediately was mint some new currency? Follow me. The only thing you really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. It didn't matter whether they'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the golden rule is exactly ten times worse. Okay, Deca decimation. It sounds bad. We're going to have to fix this. The, his voice is even quieter than the other guys. So I'm going to come out here and adjust the overall mix. And then we're going to go in here. And we're going to turn down... Oh, they don't start everything at 100. That's super handy and I really wish more games worked that way. Let's turn everything else down just like a little bit. The music could probably... Music could really sit, like, sit back. Just, just adjust it, just a little bit. Okay. Let's try it like that. The magistrate can explain the rest. Who's up these stairs? It doesn't really seem like it made that much of a difference. Alright, and I'm sure he will explain the rest, but first, I'm going to rob him. Scintilla to Sentius, may Jupiter Optimus Maximus continue to protect and guide you. Thank you for making me your daughter and for the lovely birthday pendant. I promise I will wear it, I promise will, wear it always. I feel so safe and fortunate to have you as my father and Sentia as my sister. I sense you've been feeling apprehensive about the election next month, but if you could just show them the strong and dependable man I know you to be, you will be re-elected, I'm sure of it, and then we get an immediate summary down at the bottom right, which is I, kind of a weird. Am I allowed to turn this over? Okay, no, I, I, I'm not. I cannot look at the back of the paper. Okay, perhaps there is nothing to steal after all. Except for sweet, sweet information and also this lorarium. That's a fair number of coins. Wait, how do I? Okay, I just look away from it. Escape is not how we cancel that. I mean, I sort of want to... Let's... Let's not right away steal all the coins. I am not promising that I won't do it later. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? Uh, yeah, I'm Sowen. Uh, I do not. I mean, I sort of know. I, I know you're the magistrate anyway. A curious name to match a curious accent. 
But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of Athena. You must be a woman of great learning. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. Now, you're probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first, take a look at this wondrous place, would you? A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. I wonder if there are other voice lines for if you pick certain names. Like, does he still say your name is odd if you name yourself Sentius? Or perhaps Athena? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. And in all that time, hmm. not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Well, no, if I'm honest. It's interesting that he said 22 people. Because the other guy, whose, whose name I have already forgotten, said 23, right? Uh, you know, I can't say I have. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning, the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. And now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the Golden Rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Unless you and I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to take in, and you look like you have questions. Please, ask away. This guy is really, really reminding me of someone, some other character in another game, and I can't quite put my finger on it. It's driving me a little crazy. So, uh, hey, what counts as a sin here? Explicitly, what are the rules? An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying? Insulting someone, blasphemy, trespass, trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide. Software As piracy. magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. After all, you it wouldn't is only download by a chariot. the gods the proper respect that we may prosper as Rome has for centuries. Okay. Uh, what is legal isn't always moral. Many of your laws and customs are considered barbaric where I'm from. This is like, like it's, it's sort of completely irrelevant to what we're talking about like this is this is a thing that's true but also basically a non sequitur i'll just say makes sense to me i'm glad you agree the key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy murder assault and rape as well as theft and arson and so on i have made my pronouncement on the subject unfortunately there are still those here who resist 
whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. So basically we know that blasphemy and treason and lying are all fine. Otherwise we'd all be gold already. I do sort of want to just go in the other room and steal from his chest um, to see. Like we don't know. They're all from the same time period and stuff. They're all potentially bound up in this magic. We don't know for sure that things go sideways if we commit a crime. So it might be might be wise to test it, right? Uh, we know what he meant when he said Proserpina sent us because we appeared in the shrine, but I am curious if there will be any other information attached to that. You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina, the goddess of the cycle of life and renewal. It's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. And when I saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? Okay, that was. I'm glad I asked. Uh, yeah, that's true. I am from 2,000 years in the future. 2,000 years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? What had become of us, of this city? Oh, I don't know if you want to know that. I mean, is it cruel to tell him the truth? I feel like if I lie, he's going to know I'm lying. And that's just going to make him think that, think it like whatever we saw was the absolute worst, right? My guess is that no matter what I say here, he's going to know that we saw golden statues. So I'm just going to tell the truth. I have imagined it, our downfall, a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. So how does this ritual work exactly? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled ah. across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases a live animal. Usually. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? Well, I mean, if I'm honest, I was not marking faces very closely. I did I did see human remains in the temple. Ah, I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Okay, so when he when he said costly ritual, I immediately jumped to the conclusion that the ritual is a thing that had already happened and that it had cost the life of a person and that's why he knows there are only 22 people now. But I guess it looks like that's not the case. The ritual is a thing that is upcoming in the timeline relative to him. I mean, I'll do my best. Well, I suppose that's all I can ask for. Why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though. Unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Yeah, all right, that makes sense. Do you have any suspects? I mean, like, clearly, yes. Clearly he suspects something pretty specific. Otherwise, he... It feels to me like it would be a big leap to... Oh, yeah, somebody's definitely going to turn us all to gold if he didn't have some pretty specific idea in mind. Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is? What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. 
Okay, I, I buy that. Uh, I mean, it just, it doesn't really make any sense for him to be the person responsible, or at least, like, he wouldn't at this point know if he's going to be the person responsible, because if he was, then what would be the point of doing the ritual to get me back here in the first place? Like, I, th I think he's probably right. I think, I think an unbiased approach is maybe smartest. And if I do this, you'll help me get back to my own time? If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. And let me see if I can explain. Well, this if is the part where we draw on the whiteboard. The sin that breaks the golden rule. I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Make sense? I don't think that that does make sense. No, I, I mean, like, I don't think that logically follows. It seems to me I would be annihilated and the version of me from the timeline where I never found a portal would just be the one in that place. But, you know, whatever. I'm probably doomed either way. So, sure, why not? I guess that's all the questions I have. Ah, good. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break? the golden rule it does I literally don't, I don't think I have any choice at all here no I don't suppose you do but I'm hoping that even if you're not burdened with a sense of self-sacrifice you'll at least see the sense in self-preservation listen I very much enjoy self-playing the video game that's all you really need wonderful now I need you to investigate the city talk to everyone help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless, of course, you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. I am actually really curious if him, say, him saying the, like you have the legal authority now to trespass has any real effect. Like, again, he doesn't even know what the rules are, right? Oh, and one last thing. If I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. Okay, interesting. I will see what I can do. I am for sure going to do at least some just kind of like wandering. Are you going to go into that room to the left? Nope. Okay. <clears throat> Quick save. The many shall suffer okay. for the sins of the one. Oh, do I get to just like re loop? Horatius, oh, help wow. Me. Hi. I mean, we're just gonna. Uh, instead of reloading a save, we recommend following the magistrate. Oh, fine. It's just, it's weird that they told me about the quick save and the quick load, and then they're like, but don't use them. working on it. I'm working on it. I actually have no idea. The magistrate got away from me, but I know where the portal is. So it, it seems like the uh, <laughs> the magic statues are maybe not uh, not super dangerous. Okay. Ooh, here's a question. Will we still have the money if this just takes us back to the exact moment of entry, which I am assuming is what is going to happen here? Do I get to steal stuff in one loop, steal stuff in one loop, and carry it with me into the next loop? Okay. So this is still marked, which is weird, and the answer is yes. Okay, cool. There we go. It just takes a little while. Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the shrine of Proserpina? 
Uh, yep. Hi, I'm Salen. We've had this conversation before. Uh, I don't think so. I've never seen you before in my life. Your name is Galerius. You're about to offer to take me to Sentius so you can tell me about the Golden Rule. Oh, I guess how much did I drink last night? Uh, sorry to have bothered you. Yeah, no problem. I have to go. Oh, and since you seem to be in a hurry, you should try out this device I made. Worked real hard on it. Uh-huh. What a profoundly odd thing to just hand to a stranger. What is going on here? Okay. Just attach the pulley to the rope over the lake and hang on to the handles. If it works, it'll be faster than walking. And if it doesn't work, the worst thing that can happen is you'll take a swim in the lake. I haven't quite summoned the courage to test it myself. But don't worry, it's completely safe. Probably. Okay. All right. See you around. Maybe he's already given one to everybody else. Maybe that's the, the idea. He, he, he wants to make sure everyone in the city has one of these. Okay. Well, let's just let's just look around and get into trouble, shall we? We now know that we are absolutely uh, bound to the golden rule, but also that the consequences for breaking the golden rule are honestly like extremely minor. For us, at least. Doesn't really seem to be a big deal. So let's go route this city, shall we? This way. Which, way? which way is this way? Oh, I see. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, uh... I kind of wish there was a button for, like, allowing my character to answer. Oh, dear. Pretty, pretty low impact sound-wise. Uh, yeah, continue from last save. So this is going to be before we stole the money. Which I guess we'll do again. It's probably a good idea to have money on hand, right? Oh, does it does it create a save at the beginning of each loop? Oh, cool. That's that's wonderful. Actually, I'm like overjoyed. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. So that he gives us his invention, and then uh, I'll make another save. Uh, We're just gonna blow through this. Oh. Yep. He handed me a weird thing. Where were you keeping that? Just the tap. Cause like I've seen your clothes. Right. Not only do you not have like a satchel, I don't believe you have a single pocket. I mean. Except, of course, for nature's pocket, which, given where he reached back behind him, you know, that's not not wholly incompatible with with what happened. Is that a goose? This truly is hell. Quick save. Okay. So I was really expecting that bridge of vines to be traversable. In hindsight, I don't know why. It doesn't look like it would support my weight. Um, maybe this game's a Metroidvania? Maybe I'm going to find the, vi the vine traversal ability at some point. Let's just look around a little bit more. Okay, I saw that little alcove there and thought it might be a root. So, given our position here, is this is this the magistrate building? Do I have a map? Not really. Yeah, okay. Salve, friend. I'm Octavia. Welcome okay. to life under the golden rule. It's a ghastly thing, is it not? How are you faring so far? I think we know how the camera operator feels about Octavia. Uh, you know, if I'm honest, feeling a bit on edge. That's good, in a sense. If you're not on edge, you've not been paying attention. 
But on the bright side, once you've been here a few months, it's... Well, it's slightly less terrifying anyway. We've all been where you are now. I remember when I first arrived. I used to lay awake at night contemplating the big questions. Why am I here? Is there a way out? What is the golden rule and who or what is responsible for it? I still don't have any of the answers, I'm afraid. I don't think anybody does. But I'm happy to share with you what I've learned. Uh, yeah, okay. What's your... tell? Why don't you just tell me your entire deal? Here, in this place, the Magistrate has me earning my keep by cleaning and pruning the gardens. It's not quite how I expected my life to go. I used to live in a lovely villa on the banks of the Tiber. I was even betrothed to a handsome young man from a prominent family. But long hours of menial labor for the good of the community has its own charms too, I suppose. And how did you end up here? Oh, much the same way as many of the others. When the fires came to Rome, seven months ago, my family and I fled for the Tiber, hoping to escape on a barge. We were among the fortunate ones with enough coins for passage, but unfortunately, there were a lot of desperate people, and they boarded before we could depart. A scuffle broke out, and I was pushed overboard. The last thing I remember was the water, rising up to hit my cheekbone. I woke up by the river, near that shrine, and stumbled across this place. That is a bummer. I am sorry to hear that. Oh, that's all right. I'm sure it's all part of God's plan for me. Uh, well, I mean, like, I guess, I guess I'll say it. Let's, let's get her take on it. Oh, yes, of course. A slip of the tongue. Interesting. If you like. Uh, <laughs> if she knew a way out of here, I'm sure she would have taken it by now, but let's ask. I'm afraid not. Although, I did once hear someone gossiping down at Aurelia's tavern about a possible way out. I don't put a lot of stock in such rumors, but if you're desperate and wealthy, you could look into it, I suppose. If that doesn't work, then I suppose we're all stuck here until gods, uh, the gods, decide our fate. I hope it works out. Boy, they really want to call your attention to that, huh? Having her slip up that way twice in a row. What do you think about the golden rule? Hmm. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. I think about those words a lot. I'd like to think that if we all love our neighbors as ourselves and do to them as we'd have them do to us, then we'll all be fine. But on the other hand, I was always taught the intent of man's heart is evil from his youth and that all of us are born with a tendency towards sin. And that's where I get stuck. Is it true? Are we born with a tendency towards sin? Boy, I... <laughs> we're having to decide, to decide some deep things about this character that we have just, just begun inhabiting. I mean... I think we're all born with a tendency towards some things that later a lot of people decide are sin. So I guess technically yes? If that's true, then sooner or later, things are going to end badly for all of us down here. Unless, of course, there's some kind of divine intervention. Oh, there's going to be some intervention, all right. Hmm. I wish I shared your faith. You don't, you don't understand. I have quick load and quick save. So, like, look, let's just out with it, shall we? Please, please keep that to yourself. I know you're not from around here, but things are very difficult for us right now. There was a terrible fire in Rome last year, and our emperor decided to make us his scapegoats. There were executions. It was horrible. Uh, yeah, I mean, your secrets, it, it sure doesn't benefit me to tell anybody. Although, it is probably the case that if we did tell people... I mean, like, what could they do to her without being afraid of breaking the golden rule themselves, right? Oh, thank you. You have no idea how much I appreciate that. All right, well, it was lovely to meet you. I look forward to getting to know you better over the coming months. And if you ever... I can't believe this is how it ends. Oh, no. 
No, 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 no. Wolf Pierce, what are you doing? Get back from there. If you lose your balance, you'll fall. That's the idea. What? Why? Why would you want that? Why do you think I'm stuck for the rest of my life working for a man who treats me like an animal? I know, I know things are hard for you right now. They're hard for all of us. We're all in this together, Alpheus. Please, please just think this through. If you do this, it could be the sin that seals all of our fates. Is that what you want? I'm sorry, but I just don't care anymore. Please, Alpheus. Help him. If he goes through with it, it could be the end for us all. Well, I don't know what to do. I've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Please, you need to talk to him. So... We think assault would break the golden rule, right? Like, I shouldn't just walk over and crack him across the head with my mag light. Uh, do you, I mean, do you really think his suicide would break the golden rule? I don't know enough about Roman cultural norms to know how they viewed suicide. I don't know, but it's a crime for slaves to take their own lives. And a debt bondsman isn't far off. <laughs> okay, fine, I'll talk to him. Thank you. And please, choose your words carefully. Okay. Uh, we have no reason to think that our character is good at bluffing people, and also... I mean, like, what in what universe is this a good idea? Hey, Ulpius, can we talk? Let me guess. You're going to lecture me on how suicide is a crime against the Empire. Uh, no, I was just gonna ask you what's wrong. I screwed up my life. That's what's wrong. I borrowed money, and when I couldn't pay it back, I wound up in debt bondage. I'll be stuck slaving away for that Culus Cumulatis Maliolus for the rest of my life. I am out. Wherever you are, Centilla, my love. I'm sorry. Opius, no! Okay. It is interesting that I can't believe he went through with it. I, oh Lord, that poor lamb. It is interesting that the uh, the objective indicator for the quest updated to ask him how Sentia would feel about his suicide immediately. Like it gave me zero time to come to that conclusion or like engage in conversation to that effect. It's just like, here is the solution. Do this now. So, his suicide seems not to have broken the golden rule. What does that mean? Well, I suppose it means suicide isn't a sin under the golden rule. So I guess that means whichever god is responsible for it, it isn't mine. Well, listen, people have a lot of conflicting opinions on what your god says and means, so... So what happens now? I'll have to let everyone know what happened. And I guess Maliolus will have to clean up the mess in his villa. It's of his own making, after all. And I'd best pray for poor Ulpius. Okay, so that's... Really? I don't feel like I should... Oh, that is... Hold on. It's kind of hard to tell from up here. Does that look like a really deep hole, though? All right, well, I mean, the magic voice told me to jump, and I do have the power of the quick save. So I guess let's... Thank you. Thank you. I am okay, can't interact with the body at all. Weird. Uh, and now? <laughs> what a weird thing for the game to encourage us to do. Alright, I am not to steal anything. Carrots are purple, as they were before modern orange carrots were cultivated. This is just the game developers being like, look how much research we did. It's no doubt unpleasant cooking with such poor ventilation, but Romans probably regard that as their servant's problem. Yeah, I mean, that sounds about right. Uh, 
A note from Ulpius. Ulpius, who has lost love, may God watch over you. Please know that I held on as long as I could, but without you, my life is meaningless. I can only hope we meet again in Gan Eden? Hmm. So he's also Christian, though. R is reading mode. Oh. Okay. A painted vase depicting some kind of battle. And containing nothing of interest. We're going to look in every single one of those that it allows me to pick up. Oh, I have a zoom. Okay. So I assume the guy over there preparing his speech is probably the noble to whom young Ulpius was indebted. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to... And I'm sure he's going to get cross with me for wandering around his place and touching all of his stuff. So that is why I'm not going to talk to him until I am done doing that. Can't knock. Okay, this Lorarium is the same as the last one. You see one you are Lorarium, you've seen them all, right? The freedom you deserve. And uh yes, uh no more shall you walk on um walk on well eggshells, yes, yes, yes. Can I crouch? I can. Okay, definitely cannot make any sense of that. A ceramic ink jar. The ink appears to be made from soot and water. Did you just leap into my villa from the balcony a hundred feet above? You got eyes in the back of your head? Either extremely reckless or impressively clever. Well, why have you risked life and limb to see me? I would love to hear under what conditions that counts as impressively clever. What's what's your deal? I'm Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech for the election later today. I will say this, Maliolus seems impressively chill. If he was aware of some woman leaping hundreds of feet into the middle of his villa, and he's just like, okay... We'll engage with that later. I'm busy right now. So what will you do if you win? I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore freedom to this city, just as I've been promising. These good people have suffered long enough under Sentius's tyranny. And how will you do that? By declaring there's no such thing as the Golden Rule. It's a children's fable exploited by Sentius to frighten us into submission. Wait, don't tell me you've fallen victim to that monstrous lie. I mean, what makes you so sure it's not real? The person making a claim bears the onus of proving that claim. Can you do that? Can you prove the golden rule is real? I could have if I had my cell phone on me. It is a real shame that we woke up without one, because being able to show a couple of pictures to people around here, I feel like would solve a lot of these problems immediately. Well, listen, the Golden Rule is definitely real. Nonsense. There's no way you can prove that. If it was real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. Uh, do we let him in on the fact that we are apparently in a time loop because all video games are time loops now? Or what would it take to prove to you it's real? Tell, tell me exactly what I need to bring here. Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. Uh... I mean, listen, even if I can't prove it, if I'm right, then accepting it will avert disaster, and if I'm wrong, then accepting it will just make the city a better place. Like, is, isn't that a good thing? I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. Oh yeah? Will that be the whole of the law? Alright, look, I can see nothing I say is going to convince you. There's no way he takes this in the way that, it's, that it is meant. 
True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. All right. Uh, do you know about any kind of ways out of here? I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here together, for better or worse. We're all going to have to make the best of it. And uh, we kind of have a sense of it already, but I guess for the record, hey, what do you think about the golden rule? Do you just like really love it? You mean the children's fable exploited by Sentius to scare us all into doing what he wants? That's the one. All right, I guess I'll just be going now. I trust you can see yourself out. Yeah, probably a Through different the door way. This time, yep. there's a key just beside it. Okay, I don't actually know where the door, where the, the exit door is, so you're going to have to forgive me as I just sort of feel around and... I wonder if taking that key counts as stealing and sets thing off, things off if he doesn't tell you that you're allowed to take it. Because it probably should, right? You should not, like, just wander into somebody's home and then Still start here. picking up their keys. Hmm. I don't know enough about fabrics and textiles and whatnot to know if that is suspicious. <laughs> if that, that fabric is weird. Okay. Classic old school key design. No, no, we don't take. Okay, you unlock it and then you just jam your face against it. <laughs> She'll use her body to open a door, but certainly never her hands. <laughs> what am I, a plebeian? Okay. This feels like a place there would be a hidden thing, right? That seems pretty unsafe. And like, we simply don't know if this is the kind of game where hidden things are... Oh, apparently that just teleports me downward when I try to jump there. It does seem like perhaps we are not being encouraged to explore. Okay, there we go. No plaque or anything, huh? So... It's not clear to me what everybody else thinks has happened here. Like, there are clearly golden, goldenified people everywhere. Does everybody who's currently in the city just believe those are statues? Or, like, do they all accept that there was a previous wave of people here and they all broke the rule? This brass has been polished into a rudimentary mirror, which has been used for applying makeup. Got a bunch of vials full of perfume. I mean, we should probably check all the rooms, even though most of them have very little going on. Sculpture of Ares, the Greek god of war, known to the Romans as Mars. Containing some sort of power for or powder for makeup. And here we have Sentia's journal. Today my father suggested I write a diary as a way of keeping myself occupied while we all deal with the sudden and devastating disappearance of my sister. As a dutiful daughter, of course I shall oblige. The following pages contain my innermost secrets. <laughs> I know you're reading this, father. I may be young, but do not think me stupid. We're all entitled to our secrets. Uh, if you just go by the summary, I feel like you really, you really miss out on the fun on this one. Okay, so that stuff is all similar to stuff that we have explored before. I am not going to steal her 17 uh, dollars, her 17 Rome coin. I'm not 100% sure how you would pluralize denarius. 
A Roman fire shovel made of bronze. It smells like ash. I feel like I should... I guess it would be stealing. But I was just going to say, like... It sure would be neat to be armed. I'd feel a lot better if we get ambushed by gold archers or whatever. Alright, you know what? We are 70 minutes into this episode, and it strikes me that mayhap... I ought to stop. Obviously, it's pretty easy to get drawn into this whole thing, but I think this is where we're going to call it for today, for this episode. Uh, the intent with this series is that there will be approximately another hour of gameplay approximately every weekday, no promises, uh, until we figure out what's going on here and manage to make everybody not get turned to gold. So come back next time tomorrow, and we'll see you then.